Hey, welcome to week six of my devlog for my upcoming sailing game. This has actually probably been the most satisfying week I've had in quite a long time with the game. Uh, as you could see, I've actually got all of the proper sailing working finally. So buoyancy is working, pressure drag is working, uh, viscosity is working, and also each uh, the rudder and the um, keel are also providing lift and drag as you're um, sailing around. Uh, a really interesting thing I had this week is normally if you're in a dinghy and you're facing up into irons where the wind is coming straight on, if you pump the rudder back and forth, which is what I was doing in the last video, it'll actually push the uh, boat around because you're generating uh, force by pushing that uh, rudder back and forth. And I hadn't actually programmed this specifically, but when I did it, because I naturally want to get out of irons, it worked perfectly. And I was just blown away that all the work that I put into the physics uh, really um, came to light. So now that that is done, I'm actually going to take another step and I'm going to start doing the multiplayer. The ropes and the sailing physics are good enough for now and I don't want to put a lot of effort into uh, updating those physics before I can actually get it working on multiplayer. So the next two weeks, two or three weeks, I'm going to be working exclusively on multiplayer and getting it, uh, getting it going there. Now the one problem about multiplayer whoops, that uh, I'm going to have is in multiplayer, you need to be able to control other people's boats, and this actually causes a huge amount of um, issues when you're trying to control someone else's boat. Because when you have um, when you have a, another person's boat, one person um, they will be controlling their boat on their computer, and then the physics will be going along on their computer. And then if someone else grabs a rope and tries to pull it, um, it's going to have to send to that computer, do all the calculations, and send it back to the player that pulled the rope. And that's probably going to cause a lot of lag and make may, make it really weird. So that's going to be like my major issue um, trying to get multiplayer working. But once I have most of the stuff in place, I can start testing it and see how fast the lag is. And if, uh, if it totally works out fine, um, maybe not have to tackle it. Or maybe it's just there's going to be some lag initially um, when I release uh, the game into early access. Uh, so yeah, if you have any other questions, I hope you enjoyed my um, entrance. I wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, please leave them in the comments below and thanks for watching.